Hey YouTube, this is Matt Matthew, and today I want to talk to you guys about Treyarch's upcoming Call of Duty game. Yes, I know it's a long way, but everybody's talking about Call of Duty 2017 and Sledgehammer taking Call of Duty back to its roots, but a lot of people forget that in 2018, going on 2019, Treyarch will be the next company to take out their Call of Duty game. Yes, since we have Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer, and Activision, um, not Activision, Treyarch, making Call of Duty games, they alternate every three years. So next year, or 2019, will be Treyarch's turn to make a Call, Call of Duty game. So let's really take a look at their track record. Um, the first game, Call of Duty 3, was in World War II setting. Then their next big Call of Duty game was World at War, another World War II setting. Their next big one was Call of Duty Black Ops, which was a Vietnam War setting like in the 60s settings. Um, it was actually very good. Their next one was their first futuristic, the first futuristic title. A lot of people don't even know this, but Call of Duty Black Ops 2 actually was based off of the year 2025, which was Treyarch's first attempt at futuristic setting, which actually did well because it wasn't that futuristic. And their latest Call of Duty title was Black Ops 3. Just a complete disrespect to Call of Duty, in my opinion. But let's look at all these settings. World that you know, World War II, World War II, Vietnam, futuristic and futuristic. There's one setting that's missing, and that's modern day setting. So I believe that Treyarch next Call of Duty should be in modern day settings because it's the logical choice. They already done almost every single military era known except for World War One, which I doubt any franchise will do World War One after Battlefield One because even though Battlefield One is getting good reviews, you could tell that it was very hard to make a good shooting game because of the World War One, you know, mili military aspects with their guns, the kill streaks and so forth and so forth. So my opinion is that it's logical for Treyos to do a modern day setting. One, they never done it before, so it would be a good test in the water for them. And two, honestly, the modern day settings are probably the most popular and the most successful settings. If you look at any first person shooter game, whether it's free to play or AAA titles, the modern day settings and World War II settings are the most common because they are the most successful. I mean, every battle battlefield is pretty much almost modern day they started on world war ii but they quickly went to modern day settings and they held it there for quite a while and it's very successful for them a lot of free to play first person shooters and third person shooters are in modern day because modern day is such a great setting even though it may seem small there's a lot you can do with it and since Treyarch has never done a modern day setting they could honestly create a good Call of Duty game based off of their track record. They have created some great Call of Duty games. Uh, Call, of, Call of Duty 3 gave us a lot of the mechanics that made Modern Warfare so successful and it was created by Treyarch. So they have the tools to make a good modern day Call of Duty game and it's just the most logical. I mean it's not logical to go to futuristic because everybody wants to get rid of the EXO futuristic setting. That's the whole reason Sledgehammer is going back to boots on the ground. And World War II just doesn't seem logical right now because Sledgehammer is already doing a World War II style game. And they don't want to be compared to Sledgehammer's Call of Duty because it's just not going to create good, um, you know, good actually profit you know it's not gonna generate money the because it's gonna feel like a competition and these three developers weren't really in competition with with actually one another because it's still the same game so the logical choice is modern day and honestly with the track record Treyarch's been having with a minus of black ops 3 which was in my opinion just disrespectful slap in the face to to actually call of duty as well as the black ops franchise um, they could do a, a good modern day setting. They have the good track record. They have track records of being a uh, revolutionary. And it's just overall, uh, modern day is just right now. It's, it is going to come back. 
a lot of people wanted um, Sledgehammer to do a modern day boots on the ground setting. And in fact, most likely we're going to get World War II. So that just proves the fact that fans want to go back to the modern warfare era and the World War II era because that is what's really going to sell. So what do you guys think? Um, comment, like, subscribe. Please give it a thumbs up if you thoroughly enjoyed this video. And I'm I'm seriously psyched about these next two years in Call of, in, in Call of Duty. So as always guys, be safe out there and have an awesome day.